An Atabro native has returned home from Brazil after assisting in the World Cup. Born and raised in Attleboro, Jeff Cameron recently represented the United States during the 2014 World Cup. He stopped by Attleboro High School last week where fans were able to meet him and get autographs. After a short presentation, we spoke with him to learn more about his participation in the World Cup and his rising career. Representing the city of Attleboro, Jeff Cameron. This is where I started my career off, uh, Attleboro Youth Soccer. Went to school here for a couple years. They have a brand new facility, brand new pitch. Um, it's, it's great. I mean, to see the, the soccer here is growing in this town and uh, for me to come back um, and, and maybe uh, give some kids some inspiration of maybe becoming a professional soccer player one day and, and maybe throwing on a USA jersey. Um, any way I can inspire kids to play soccer and give back to this community that has been so great to me uh, when I was growing up um, is, is the least I can do. When Jeff came home a couple weeks back, um, Jackson was able to come over the house and meet meet Jeff, and he got his picture taken and had the ball his ball signed, and Jeff gave him some tips. So he's been practicing every single day. I see him out in the yard practicing really hard. Jeff has uh, he's loved this game. Um, from day one. The first time he ever stepped out on the field, we, we could tell that there was something special about him. He could read the game better than a lot of kids his age, and he just loved it so much more. He That's all he ever talked about. Coach Jeff, since he was eight years old, and uh, and watch him through the years as he played for different teams, and and he, play, uh, he also played for me at the high school level. When he was eight, I had to do a presentation to out of our youth sock to convince the board that he needed to play at the uh, U-12 age because he was that good even then. So when he was eight, he was already eight and nine, he was playing with the kids that were 10 and 11 uh, in the league called Bays. And he did that for a while. And then he played at different clubs in his teen years. Uh, Explosion, which is out of Attleboro and uh, Bayside out of Providence and other clubs. And uh, after high school, he was recruited to uh, play at West Virginia. So he was there for two years. And then he transferred to uh, University of uh, Rhode Island, uh, URI, so he could be close to home and uh, play with his friends and so his parents can watch him. He's a regular person. He just happens to be extraordinary at what he does. At the end of the day, the people that are around him, I mean, he's the same person that he was when he left. He's just lucky enough to play in the World Cup. So coming back here, he, he's absolutely very humble and he's a great, great person. Bom, quem sou eu para opinar? Um atleta de alto, altíssimo nível, é, disputou muito bem, se apresentaram muito bem toda a equipa da, dos Estados Unidos. He's saying that he thinks he's a very good athlete and that he did a great job and he represented the United States very well. It's an honor to represent the U.S. national team and, and represent the U.S. Um, it, it's truly special. I mean, it, it's hard to ex express like how, how, how um, it is to put on a U.S. jersey. And it's, it is touching because you, you're representing your nation, you're representing the people in this country, and uh, they're behind you 100%. He's been very good at giving back. He's been to a couple of the opening days for the Attleboro Youth Soccer. Uh, so he's been there already. And so all along, he's, uh, he's donated some of his jerseys and shoes to the, to the local kids. So he's, done, he's been involved quite a bit. We've gotten uniforms from England, um, from the EPL, which is the league that he plays there, uh, that the Attleboro kids get to wear in, in some of our games here. So yeah, he's, he's given quite a bit already and he's, and he's always available for uh, any organization. I started off playing in the armory, playing on fields like this and um, I mean I've been very, very fortunate to travel all across the world in Europe, to South America, all over. Um, but you always remember where you came from, where your roots are, your mom, your dad, how they raised you. Um, and uh, you keep your feet grounded and keep your head grounded and uh, the sky can take you, it's the sky's the limit. So. Um, it's just it's one of those things that the way my parents taught me. It's really great to see him as a player and listen to his stories and just see how much he's grown as a person and as an athlete. So always first and foremost, he's definitely my little brother. Um, I can still beat him up. I like to think so, but but at the end of the day, he's six foot four and he's a, a well-oiled machine out on that field, and we're really really proud of him. Against Germany, you held them to one goal, and they eventually won the World Cup. Do you take anything away from that? 
Oh, just we, I mean, uh, I think tactically that game was a little different because both teams knew what uh, we had to do to qualify for the next round. So I think maybe both teams were kind of a little defensive at, at, at the whole game because you didn't want to get scored on, didn't want to let the other team um, kind of break through. So tactically we're, it was kind of different. Uh, whether I think the game could have been different if it was the first game in the first group stage, uh, first round. Um, but I think, you know, Germany is a very, very good team. They have a lot of fantastic players. Um, so congratulations to them. What would the players think about when they came in and said you were in the, the, the group of death? The group I mean, of death, I mean, the, the fact that we believed in each other. We believed that the 23 guys that were chosen, we were 100% getting out of our group. And, and we were so positive and so set on the fact that we were going to get through and, and take it to the next level. We played in Manaus, Salvador, Recife, and Natal. I did not go to Brazil, nope. Uh, unfortunately, I had to work. <laughs> but um, it was a lot more fun actually spending time with our family and friends, being able to watch it with the community and all the people, great people that are here today. I went to Attleboro, so this is it's great. It's my first time seeing the brand new field, which is absolutely beautiful. And just to see the support of the community, uh, I, you, what more can you ask for, really? You know, all of this be the eight-year-old and the kid that I, you know, I took to camp for years. And uh, so, yeah, he's, he hasn't changed much. Right from day one, we kind of knew that he could go a long way. The World Cup is the ultimate. Uh, obviously, getting there was, uh, was fantastic. And then to get to watch a local kid play in, in Brazil against you know, Germany and Portugal and the top teams on earth, uh, it, it's, uh, it was a great feeling. I really thought it was amazing that I met somebody that was playing uh, that big of a stage with that million. Mil that many people watching. Does it inspire you? Um, yes, a lot. It's fun. I mean, it's you're playing in the best league in the world, so obviously, um, for me, it's it's something that uh, it's different. It's a different culture. It's a different environment. But uh, it's you get the chance to play in a different country and in a different league, so it's it's very very nice. When you sit down on the pitch in front of eighty thousand people. I know you have business to do, but did you get a chance to just take it all in for Yeah, a you had yeah, I had about three or four seconds where I just kind of looked around and just kind of looked at the stadium, then the World Cup song came on and you get the chills a little bit and, you're, and you realize you're in your dream. Uh, this is a dream come true. And then you kind of snap back into reality and you're like, hey, I got a game to perform and um, you kind of soak it in like that.